Hello, this is Leah with All Things Cards. I was just making a leaf card and then I started using my magnets and I thought, well, maybe I should record this. Same thing happens to me all the time. So because I don't have like three hands, so I just take my magnet and move it over. In this case, it'd be four hands. I find that this is very helpful for when I have to, um, you know, work like this. I need to glue something down this metallic board behind the misty. It comes in handy quite a bit. Normally you would take your, um, what do you call it, S blocks, your stamping blocks these things, clear stamping box, and you would just place it on top. It doesn't give much weight to it. It just holds it there very gently. Magnet pulls it down and secures it to, to your paper. And I really like that. So let's see here. I'm trying to figure out what style to do everything in. It's a little hard to decide exactly where I want everything go. I had to go. I have this one that I put together already, which has shifted greatly since I started. So now I'm just trying to piece it all together here. I don't want to lose too much of the leaves, but I do want to cover up these ends as I go. I've got my, mm, what is this stuff? This is the green one, Tombow Mono, inside of a needle nose. And you can watch my video on how I got glossy accents into a tiny bottle here. But this is like torture to get anything into these little bottles. People have given me suggestions on how to do it properly, which now that I look at it in retrospect, may have been a really great idea had I thought of that before. Now I'm going to do a base of little leaves and then I'm going to take some of these big ones and just pop them up on dimensionals above them. I don't know if I'll have enough for all the cards I want to do. I may have to cut out some more leaves. But that's no big whoop de doo because I have stuck my, what do you call it, dies together so that I can easily just whip that, do that again. Oh, somebody's not been stored upside down like I thought. Hmm. Well, don't like it that. Nope, me no like. There. <sighs> so what projects are you working on? This is the, what is this? This is the Labor Day a long weekend in Canada. So, I know in the States you guys have got some other holiday too. Uh, Columbus Day? I Sorry, I have no idea. It's Labor Day for them too. Oh, Labor Day for them too? Oh. I don't keep up on your guys' holidays. Probably about as much as you keep up with our holidays. Uh, so there. It was supposed to be a raspberry, but it did not turn out like a raspberry. It turned out like I was having a problem breathing. There we go. So I've got all my stems covered. Now I can come in with some of these gorgeous maple leaves. Because I'm a Canadian who's going to do maple leaves. So I can cover these areas up. Hmm. Now I got to cover that one up up there. Ha! Huh. That don't work. Got to be bigger. Go bigger, go home. Anyways, I just thought I would show this to you. I will add a picture to the end of this video. This little snippet. You can use these guys too. 
but they're really, you know from experience that they're not as easy to lift and manipul manipulate as these little ones are. So that's why I didn't bring them up this up into the project today. So I'm very thankful that you're watching. And I hope that you have a great day. Please like this video and subscribe to our channel and ring that bell. May God richly bless you. Bye-bye. Hey there, this is Leah from All Things Cards. I have finished the leaf cards. We made the paper for these leaves. If you recall, they're on, it's on another video. But here's a teeny little piece of the paper. The rest of it's over near my die cut machine, so I don't have it handy. So, here's another little piece there. So we made some paper out of just some plain white paper with our distressed inks. And then we, I cut it into little leaves. And I've backed this on some gold foil paper, if you can see it there. Got a little teeny tiny for you. Here's a little thankful for you. Inside it says, whenever I count my blessings, you always top the list. And I did that again on the shimmer paper that Michael sells, where it's a little bit of a gold shimmer on it. I've added some, some, I don't know what these things are. These little drops are liquid pearls in sage. And this one has sage and bisque, B-I-S-Q-U-E. And then I added some of my little mirrored see-through sequins. And it says a little for you. I backed that on. I did it gold heat embossing on black with gold backing. And I had these coming off the page and I cut them. So I did a blue, a baby blue and like an olive green. And the baby blue was to pick up the blue. I figured out what color I was missing that I couldn't remember. It was evergreen bow. And that's the other green that was on this blue tint paper. So then here's the next one. This one I did with gold circle things. I got these big gold circles from the dollar store inside of a Christmas pack. And the other gold ones are Recollection Signature Sequin Glitter. And I got a whole thing of all different colors. There. It smells like something's burning. Is it anything burning? Okay, Hubby's making lunch and so just smell like something might be burning. Okay, so you can see how sparkly that is. It's got the big one and then it's got a little tiny one. And that one I did with, I did the sage again because the, I've got a mixture of the colors of the papers and this one I also did gold pearl, liquid pearls. So those are the two that I did with this one. Inside, again, the gold paper. I stamped this one with the olive and this one I stamped with the northern pine to go with the uh, bluey green. This one I kind of double stamped it. I did it, first I did this one, you can't quite see. I shifted it, I did the green and then I shifted it all up and then I shifted it and I did a teeny tiny little bit of pear, just to give it a little bit of a glow. And then this one I did in the northern pine and then I shifted it and I did it in the cottage ivy, because this was the bluey greens. I was going for that one. Again, stamped inside with Northern Pine. Very pretty. What do you think? Very sparkly. Very pretty. And my last one, I did four of these cards. This one's another olive one. And we made the paper. And then we cut it out. Die cut it into leaves. And then have this beautiful card. You can make your own papers. Don't be afraid to. What's the, you know, what are you going to waste? You're going to waste a paper, a little bit of your time, a little bit of ink, but you will learn, you'll have fun, and you may create something beautiful that makes you very happy. It never hurts to give it a try. 
always sign your cards. Thank you for watching today. I am thankful for you that you're taking the time out of your day to watch this video. Thank you so much. May God richly bless you.